Let's see if we can count by tens using a 100 grid. First, we'll count forward by 10. Now, if you have a look at our 100 grid, you can see we've got rows of 10. There's 10, up to 20, up to 30, up to 40, and all the way up to 100. And what we can do is use this to see how we can add on 10. Now, we're going to start with this column. Columns run up and down. If you have a look and we start at 10, we've got no units and one in the tens place. Then we add 10 and we go to the next row. We've got no units and two tens. Then we add 10 again by going to the next row and we've got no units and three tens. Are you seeing a pattern here? Let's have a look. No units and four tens. Ah, what if we start at a different number? Why don't we start at three? Okay, let's do that. Three is three units, and it's actually got no tens. So think of zero tens. If we add 10, we go down to the next row. We've actually got three units and one 10. Then three units and two 10 when we add another 10 on. So the units digit isn't changing here, is it? If you have a look down that column, there's a three in the units place. So let's add 10 again. We've got three units and three tens. The tens digit is getting bigger every time we add 10, but the unit digit is not changing. Now it doesn't matter where we start. If we start at 37 and count forward by 10, we have seven units and three tens. If we add 10, remember our tens digit gets bigger by one. So we have four tens and seven units. So the tens digit increases by one, and the units digit doesn't change. So this time we're adding 10 to 47, we get 57. Seven units and five tens. But we can do it going backwards as well. So let's take a look. Let's start at 81. 81 has eight tens and one unit. If we count backwards by 10, we go up this time. So this time we have one less in the tens place. We have seven tens and one unit. If we go back by 10, we've only got six tens and one unit. Now what comes next here? We've got 46 and we want to know what number comes next if we're counting by 10. Now remember, the units digit doesn't change, but the tens digit increases by one. So we have a four in the tens place and a six in the unit place. So we're going to have five tens and six units. And then the tens is going to increase by one again. So we'll have six tens and six units. You see four, five, six in the tens place. So next in the tens place will be seven. And we've still got six units. So we have 76.